What up, it's Martin Sosa. Today we're doing some more hump day Q&A on Peak Your Mind, and we're talking about how do you build self-esteem. This is one of the questions you guys ask, and the way I see self-esteem is it's just confidence in who you are, and what you're capable of, and just having respect for yourself. And so, there's a lot of different ways to build self-esteem, but one of the best that I've found that's made the biggest difference for me is to challenge yourself, and to do stuff that's hard, or that's scary, or that's outside of what you're comfortable with, because, and I mean, this can be kind of a double-edged sword, because when you do do that, what if you fail? What if you suck at it? What if whatever, and all of a sudden, after you do it, you're like, dude, I feel worse than when I started. I feel worse about myself than when I even did this thing. Thanks for nothing. But the way you work around that is, instead of attaching to how well you're doing, and, and like, oh, this and that, because there's always, we're not gonna be good at everything. There's stuff that we're gonna be complete noobs at, and we're gonna try, and we're, not, we're gonna suck at it, and we're gonna have to embrace the suck. But instead of attaching to how well we do our own self-worth to that, because that can fluctuate, we attach to just the action of doing it, right? Attached to, hey, I'm challenging myself, I'm growing, I'm learning something new, all that kind of stuff, and that's going to start to build your self-respect and your self-worth. So for example, this weekend I got to go to my Aikido Dojo for classes. For one of my classes, we got to go to a dojo and like actually take a class with them. And <laughs> and I was going to go, my buddy was going to come with me, but apparently he like dislocated a disc in his back or something, and so he can't come. And so I'm flying solo to this place I've never been to, trying something that, I mean, we've taken a few classes on, but I really don't know that well. And it's martial arts, so I'm probably going to get beat up by children. You know, so the, all these things are outside of my comfort zone, but I know, I know going into it, I don't have to be the best at it. I can totally suck and embarrass myself, but I know that afterward, I'm going to feel like, I'm going to feel confident. I'm going to be like, is it dirt? Let me just <laughs> brush that off, playa. Because I'm taking on those things that are scary. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the fear and doing it anyway. And so that's what it's going to do for you. Because when you do start to do those things, there's something that happens psychologically because it's like, it expands your mind. Your brain starts thinking, huh, if I can do that, I wonder what else I can do, you know? And we respect people who try. We, we don't respect people for, because, oh, they always succeed. We respect people who fall down and get back up. We respect people who persevere. That's what we respect. And so it's doing those things that you would find respectable, you know? Like, and, and after that, you don't always have to feel, you don't have to do those things all the time, but you can pull from those experiences. You can remember times when you did stuff that was scary or that was hard and you came through it. You know, and so that is one of the best ways to do it. So once you get to that point, once you build your own self-esteem, you want to protect it. You want to protect it because a lot of times we either have toxic people around us or a toxic environment, or it's even us that we're toxic to ourselves. You know, it's like most of us are like just so unaware of how we're talking to ourselves. Like we'll be like, dude, we make a mistake and we're like, I'm such an idiot. I'm so this, I suck at this, whatever. And we don't realize the effect that's having on us. So the way you protect it is your internal dialogue, your inner dialogue. And ideally surrounding yourself with people who build you up and respect you. But you want to respect yourself. You want to talk to yourself as if someone you love and someone you value, someone who is worthwhile, you know? So if you catch yourself saying, oh man, I suck at this, I suck at that, be like, you gotta replace it. You gotta replace it with five things that you respect about yourself. No, I'm amazing, I'm incredible, I'm so good at this, I'm getting better. All that kind of stuff where you're building up that inner self-talk and it's not from a cocky place and it's not from whatever, it's just having that self-worth and that self-value and being centered in that and protecting that because you work hard to build it up. But just to recap a little bit, do the things that are hard, feel the fear and do it anyway. Challenge yourself. As you challenge yourself, you're gonna to start to build that self-respect for yourself and, and it's just gonna be part of your body. It's gonna be the way you walk, it's gonna be the way you talk, the way you handle yourself, the way you carry yourself, all that kind of stuff. And then make sure you protect it. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with people who value you, you respect you, and make sure you're respecting yourself. So that's today's hump day Q&A for today. Honestly, dope question. I love talking about that kind of stuff. And if you do have another question you want me to answer, just comment below and I'll get to it for you. And if you haven't heard, we, I just started this new series called Mornings with Martin, uh, just so I can make more videos for you guys. We can hang out in the mornings and then hit you with a little message, a little something, get your day started off right. If you haven't seen it yet, I already have a couple videos up. You can check those out now or just tune in the mornings and you can watch those with me. But I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have an amazing day. Talk to you later. Peace.